barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I was talking to somebody in boxing, and it was about Robert Garcia. Not Robert Garcia. I'm going to say that. And if I say this in the interviews this week, guys, please forgive me when I say Robert, When if I confuse Robert Easter or Robert Garcia, just because because of the consistencies of their name. So anyways, man. I was on the phone with someone and uh, someone heavy in boxing and they were talking about how Robert Easter said Mikey Garcia is overrated. And I was like, is he? And then he told me to go to box rack and I went to box rack and I, and uh, I, uh, I'm just going to go by his most notable opponents. All right. I'm not going to go into anything else, but like, I know he was out for two years, but, there was, there's a whole bunch of guys. I have no idea who they are, but I'm gonna go through the most notable. Sergio, his last opponent, Sergio Lipinets. Sergio was basically not ripe yet. I mean, he 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 was pre, he looked like he was going somewhere, but he wasn't fully ripe yet. They they moved him along too fast, and some may say he lost to the Asian guy on somebody's undercard. Oh, uh, it was somebody's undercard because I saw the fight in New York. It was against an Asian kid, and uh, he uh, might not have been there. Adrian Broner, uh, Marcos Maidana took a lot out of him. He came off the Sean Porter loss. He got some close wins against uh, Granados, and, and and we're pretty familiar with uh, uh, Adrian Broner. Dijon was a was the perfect picking he had to, i believe he had the wbc wbc belt I, I i i think it was perfect timing he had the belt uh roman gonzalez he beat roman gonzalez by tko but roman gonzalez had just lost to uh had already lost to ricky burns so with him losing to ricky burns we had a great idea of his talent level right so Roman Gonzalez, you know, wasn't really that good. Vasil Lomachenko's best fight ever was against uh, 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 Roman Gonzalez. I think that was a sixth or seventh round knockout. And uh, and before that, he had he fought Salido, if I'm not mistaken, right? He fought Salido back to back time, so we have an idea of who what his talent is. And we all we all know what happened with uh, Mikey Garcia and Salido. Uh, but I just wanted to uh, put things and put things in perspective for us. I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time with Mikey Garcia. I'm, no way am I saying that he's a bum or anything like that. I'm just I, I just didn't know the guy brought it to my attention. I was like, huh? And so um, the next one is Juan Manuel Lopez. I think Juan Manuel Lopez is the kid. Didn't he lose to Salido twice? I think Juan Manuel Lopez lost to Salido twice, if I'm not mistaken. So. Mikey Garcia is literally picking from the same basket literally every time, right? And uh, yeah, on box rec, he did lose. Juan Manuel Lopez literally did lose. Okay, so that's pretty much where we're at in terms of he's never fought an A-level opponent. Robert Ar Robert Easter is literally his toughest opponent. Some may say Salido just because of his style. He gives everyone tough tough decisions but in terms of raw talent in terms of physical attributes Robert Easter literally is his toughest opponent he's ever faced and uh, um, Richard Schaefer says Mikey Garcia is pound for pound the best fighter in the world we gonna find out and uh, I'm anxious to see I uh, I as I told you guys I'm a I like the Garcia family. I like Mikey. I think Mikey's really cool. I have no ill will toward him. I think he's exceptional, man. Like like in real life. Uh, I've interviewed Mikey 30 times, probably. Uh, I've learned a lot with uh, with Ellie covering him damn near every day. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, hmm. That's interesting because you would have never thought that he would have been fighting fighters all from the same all from the same tree Loma. You know, he hasn't really fought a Lomachenko type. So I'm really interested to see how he responds. 
excuse me, so I'm really interested to see how he responds. We all know the talent level. We all know the skill level. We all know he was born to do this. But uh, we'll see. I'm interested to see. I'm really, I'm, his, uh, keep it real, now that his, his profile has got me interested now, like even more interested in this fight. I'm super interested in this fight now. Now, let's be clear. I am super duper interested in this fight, but I, I bet you guys listening to this, I'm surfing the internet. Uh, I'm looking at his record. That's that's why you hear all the clicks. But I'm really interested because I didn't know, and I know you guys didn't know, as it relates to uh, um, his record. I, I never would have guessed. I'm being I'm being honest with you guys. I wouldn't I wouldn't have guessed just on uh, face value. So we gonna we gonna see. And uh, I'm contemplating am I doing a prediction video on this fight? And I'm gonna title it in the next video. I'm gonna title it a little bit different, but I'm gonna give you guys a schedule. We have media workouts on Wednesday. We have the final press conference on Thursday. We have the weigh-in on Friday, and we have we have a hell of a fight on Saturday night. And uh, I'm I'm excited to interview Luis Ortiz. Uh, I wish I knew Spanish. Um, I, he understands English though, if I'm not mistaken. I've interviewed him once or twice. I believe he understands English, but answers in Spanish. So, so I think that helps. Um, and, and and that's what's and that's what's going on. And and also, what's been thrown around the media circles is Mikey Garcia is taking this fight lightly, because his brother said he had a short camp. He started the camp. Leo Santa Cruz fought June eighth. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. June 6th, June 8th, somewhere in there. June 6th, June 5th. So, and he hadn't been in camp yet. He was going in camp the Monday after the Leo Santa Cruz Abnamares fight. So, with that being said, this is the 28th. You take that away. What is that? Four week, a six week camp, basically. He's in a six or seven week camp. Fight week doesn't really count. Fight week is just you lose your four pounds, you, you do a couple of shakeouts, and, and, and we're dealing with two extremely disciplined athletes. So they're not losing 10 pounds a week of the fight. They're probably losing five pounds. Excuse me, probably it's 1 o'clock over here. So we're probably losing five to nine pounds, five to eight pounds. Um, Robert Easton looked like... He's two workouts away from being on weight. He looked really good. Uh, but I'm just, I'm anxious to see, guys. I know, you, and I'm willing to bet, please put in the comment section if you didn't re really realize that Mikey Garcia hasn't really fought A-level competition. Right? He, he's, he's all, every opponent he's faced without has had their O taken away by someone else. Has been beaten before. He hasn't fought well. The I can't pronounce the guy, but the guy he beat in Vegas on the undercard of, uh, I was at that fight. Leo Santa Cruz and Carl Frampton. He Dazikan, He beat him. Let me go to the. He he was undefeated, but he was like a he was like a Sergio Lipinets, right? Wasn't fully developed yet. Wasn't ready yet, and uh, we saw the results. So he has some problems when you go to the body. He has a lot of problems when you faint at him. But Mikey Garcia finds ways to win. And at the end of the day, it's all about winning winning and getting to the next bout. So I want you guys to do your homework. Go to Box Rec. Do your fight breakdowns. Do your prediction videos. I'm uncertain if I'm doing I'm leaning towards not doing a prediction video on this fight. Uh, I basically have it done. I watched tons of fights because I didn't have a fight to cover for five weeks, so I spent a lot of time on this fight. So, um, we'll see, man. But uh, let, genuinely, let me know what you guys thought about the, his record. I want you guys to go to Box Rec and look at his record. And I'm willing to bet about 50% of y'all didn't know that his uh, the fighters he's fought and beat 
weren't as good as we thought they were. When you look at their history to get to him, you realize that their some of their spirit was gone. You understand what I'm saying? So uh, with, the, with the exception of Salito. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, man, feel free to hit the subscribe button. And uh, it's fight week, guys. We got a big one. Man, we got a big, big one coming up. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.